Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. As you probably saw by the title of the video and probably the reason you clicked on this video is to learn how to get a 5M. Well, no, actually it's not 5M, it's called Red M. And it's the Red Dead Redemption 2 version of a Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, servant from uh, 5M. So, let's create a new folder. And we're going to call this Red M Tutorial Server. And, oh, excuse me. Some things you're going to need. I have over here, I've pulled up the how to set up a Red M server. This is, you have to follow this based off the date and how to get everything set up. So you don't want to get the, so if we go over here, you don't want to download the latest. That, I tested that, it didn't work. As you can see, I have a Red M server pulled up over here, one I already set up just to test to make sure I could get it working myself. But you don't want You don't want to use the latest because we're going bait because I I got it working with May seventh. I was running into an error. I googled it, figured it out, had to use an older version of artifacts. So I well, the version I downloaded was twenty four thirty one. I'll mess around and test with some other versions throughout this series. I'll occasionally, whenever a new one comes out, I will try to build a server off of it to see if it works. But currently, the one I found working is 2431. So you get that downloaded. You download the same CFX server data. And drag and drop those into your folder. So I actually have those guys downloaded. I already have the downloads done. For me, it says server2, so you're going to want to open your server.zip. Control A, select all, and drag and drop it into your Red M server folder. Wait for everything to copy. Takes a minute shouldn't take as long as it takes for me because I'm also recording to the same hard drive that I'm uh, copying files from and everything so for me copying and stuff will be a little bit slower so once we have that stuff drug and dropped in we need our server data master go in here drag and drop your resource folder in, create a new file, and we're going to call it server.cfg. Yes, I want to change the file path, and we're going to edit with notepad++. We're also going to need this, but a little bit different here later, so I'm going to pop open my handy dandy sticky note and paste that in there so this the server.cfg you can actually use the one from here so all you have to do is drag and copy that so make sure you have everything selected and if you're like oh I created a 5m server now I wanna create this you can use the same exact license key. At least that's what I'm doing. I'm not running the server the same or at the same time, so I don't know if it'll that'll work. That's something we can try here in a second. 
But I always, uh, and then I always copy over my Steam Web API key. So we have that. Don't need that. Now we need to create our start dot bat. Everything here should be fine. Create new text document. Start dot bat. And then edit with notepad plus plus. Copy over this. And as per usual, the start of the FX server will be under resources unit unit used down in the description. So you paste that in. One major difference between with creating a server for Red Dead Redemption compared to uh, 5M, like I have our 5M tutorial server here. If we go under start.bat and edit that, you have to specify the game name, which is RDR3, for uh, your Red Dead Redemption server. Here you can see we don't have a game name specified uh, because we don't need to, because this is the original version of 5M for 5M. It's not Red M. It's 5M. But here under Red M, we need to specify plus set game name RDR3. That should get everything up and running. So we don't need that will allow Windows Security allow access and you'll see it downloads a bunch of resources. So once that is done you'll want to launch your Red M and I'm assuming this will be the first time you're you're launching your server itself. So you just hit play type localhost up into the top and it'll say FX server but unconfigured and everything should download and you should get a screen like this and it should load you into your game which is just really cool that we now have a 5M style server for Red Dead Redemption. It's quite cool. It spawned me in here. Survival is deep. So, it has the whole, it has all the AI and everything like that. We don't have any weapons or anything. But as you can see, we are connected to a 5M style server, but for Red Dead Redemption. Uh, when it comes to the map, a lot of it is still covered, at least for me. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you all back here again when we make another tutorial video on whether it be a GTA one or a Red Dead Redemption one. Because this one is set up a little bit different, scripting and everything is weird, um, it'll take some time to actually work on it. So are you sure you want to quit Red Dead Online? Any unsaved progress will be lost. I don't know how I brought that up. Bumped something on my keyboard. Not wanting to work, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I need to figure out what the key is. 
uh, F8. So it also asks you if you if you want to quit. Same thing with GTA. So you'll get an alert that the save is failed. Are you sure you want to quit? Click yes because it's not connecting through GTA servers. It's connecting to a custom server. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all back here again for another tutorial. Goodbye.